today I am at Little Brook Orchids in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and we're going to show you all the amazing blooms that they have here available at the greenhouse. Uh, I have been here a couple of times and this place has so many unique and diverse selections of orchids, so many different plants. I'm excited to show you what they have in bloom. So without further ado, let's tour the Little Brook Orchids. Okay, so I am inside the greenhouses here at Little Brook Orchids in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. And this is the first section of their nursery that I wanted to highlight. And they have a lot of beautiful blooms here. I'll start off with this gorgeous Rinkenstylus. So there's the name, Rinkensilus cutana. And these are vandacious type orchids, but they have these stunning clusters of blooms and you can see plants not too, too big, but it would grow ideally in a very, very bright space. Love, love these plants. I've never tried any of them in my collection. Uh, mainly because I don't have anything <laughs> high enough light and humidity. But this is also a gorgeous band. Check out that band of flower. Cassidy, I'm sure, has scoped out this one. Here's the name. Let's see if I can get it there. There we go. really nice and they have great quality plants too for all different types of collectors you can see this cute little guy and here's the name Here's a couple Oncidium orchids. And their greenhouse is actually pretty spacious. So you have lots of options. Pretty much anything you can think of, they have something. <laughs> um, I really like Little Brook orchids because they have quite the diverse selection of plants. This is a Brassia nodosa. Brassabulba notice him. Suzanne Fuchs. We also have the coconut orchid. Maxillaria. Tenifolia. But anyway, as, as I was saying, they have a great selection of orchids. So many different types. Um, great variety so you're gonna find different things from the typical cattleyas now this is really different I've never seen anything like this before look at the flowers they almost look like mini nidosas let me put this down here and see if I can get a better view the flower. And here's a cute little plant. So again, they're located in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Not too, too far outside of DC or even Philly. And they'll be at the upcoming SIPOS, Southeastern Pennsylvania Orchid Society show and sale, which I am excited to be doing a video at. So if you are attending SIPOS, keep an eye out for me. Now look at this cute little guy. This is a Dendrobium latigesii, Silver Charm. And the flowers are beautiful and it is I love the like frilly lip with all like the hairs. It's very cool. We have another 
maxillaria here. I think this is maxillaria variabilis. It is maxillaria variabilis. Has these cute little yellow flowers. And I know they sell these. I think they're from Ecuador, maybe? Um, I've never really dabbled in maxillarias yet. So, something I'm going to have to try. Here's a classic dendrobium. Let's see if I can find the name here. Uh, I know it is here. There we go. Dendrobium Roy Tokunaga spots. Hybrid. Very cool flowers. Really, really nice. And of course, look at this. some more dendrobium flowers. The moves are different too. Like I said, you'll get a variety of flowers that you don't typically see in a lot of different places. And this one I have to go over on this side. This is the name. And of course, look at the size of these guys. They also have a great selection of mounted orchids up here. Doesn't look like much of them are in bloom except for this guy, which is, I believe, Bulbophyllum falcata. It is Bulbophyllum falcatum. Has those unique flower spikes. You can see. They have some really neat mounted plants. They have a great selection of bulbophyllums here. House plants, ferns. Melanops. Maxillaria tinfolia. Look at these cute little dendrobiums. They almost sparkle. This is Dendrobium kingianum. And here's a selection of large Phalaenopsis. Really, really pretty. And over here, I was looking at this bulb of film. Check out the flowers on this guy. This is Bulbophyllum. Adoratissimum. I'll show you the flower again. Some more bulbophyllums and mountain cat layers. There's a cute little bloom. 
Look at the tiny flowers on this. Super cute. Again, the nice fowls. And over here, almost missed this guy. High up in the rafters. And they have pitcher plants and some other unique house plants. Look at the flowers on this. Like I said, it was a rainy day here in Pennsylvania, and I decided it'd be a great time to visit and check out the plants that they have. Like I said, they have a really cool selection of flowers. I love visiting Little Brook because I love my my odd, very unique plants, and they also have a cool selection of paphia pedalums. Oh, look at this guy. All different kinds of varieties. And these plants, I mean, are huge. Look at the size of this path. I mean, that is amazing. This is Path Knight's Ward. And I mean, this fly, this, I mean, this is like three huge growths, which is, you know, not common to see when you're buying paths. Check out this guy, that's pretty. This is Path Albertine. And this is half Delanadii hybrid. I do love my Delanadii, and look at this. Look at the size of these plants, everybody. You're definitely getting the bang for your buck when you purchase from here. Look at this flower. Another beautiful path. This is. Some more Phalaenopsis. And check out this Cattleya Walkeriana. It smells amazing, too. Really, really, really nice. And of course, some more mounted orchids, if you like mounted orchids. Everything from Sophronitis cernua, if you're looking for a Sophronitis, or Dendrobiums. They have all different kinds of plants to choose from. Super, super cool. Okay, that's their showroom. Let's go on. Well, actually, before I do, I want to highlight one thing here. This guy, I've never seen anything like this. This is a dendrobium. But these flowers are really different. And then one more, it's not fully open yet, but it's on its way. This is an Angola Safia. Nice. Okay, let's go on to the next greenhouse. Okay, moving on the other side of the glass, we are now over in the area where they have some of their standard Phalaenopsis. 
Which, as you can see, Cassidy loves her standard Phalaenopsis. Look at that. she That's a pretty one. Very pretty. Now we have to play the game, Will It Come Home with Cassidy today? That's <laughs> the real game we're playing. But look at these. I don't want to skip over these guys. So many beautiful flowers. It's the Sea of Fowls. It is a sea of fowls. These are a little bit smaller. Very delicate. And they have more of those dendrobium flowers that we saw in the other greenhouse. Yeah, really nice. Really nice fowls. Of course, you saw that one. Cassidy's favorite. Mm -hmm. We have more flowers over here. Lots in bud. So if you want one that's going to last a while. They've always got a ton in bud and in bloom here. Yeah. Always, always, always. I was saying I really like Little Brook Orchids because they have a really great variety of plants. Lots of very unique hybrids and species, tons of boba films. And you can see some of the species plants up above. I mean, gosh, look at the size of those. Amazing, amazing place. Definitely, definitely pay a visit if you're in the area. We love this place. And some more nice fowls. And look at that. I think that's a Phalaenopsis Schleriana, maybe? Can't see the tag too far away, but really nice. All right. Did you get this one? I didn't, I My missed that one. My other favorite one. Your other favorite, I almost missed your other favorite. That is nice. Like a reddish, maybe burgundy. Yeah, with yellow, little, little hints of yellow. Very unique. Or pale, yeah. I've never seen anything like that before. Lots of oncidiums that are about to bloom or growing. And then they even have some nice little plants mounted. I see some cool flowers over here. cool selection of plants and now this flower is smelling up the entire greenhouse another Vanda Cassidy's favorite this is Vanda tricolor And look at that, $50 for this beautiful Vanda. That is a steal. Let's see how many buds. So many buds still. It has a ton of buds, yeah. Here's some more. There's some Nodosa hybrids. Lots of Nodosa hybrids over here. Not all of them in bud or bloom right now. the films and Vanda type orchids you can see in the other side there And 
here are some Phragmopediums. Very cool. I love my little grassy frags. They have a great selection of Phragmopediums right over here. More Neophonicia. Neophonidia Valcata. White. Nothing in bloom right now, but still a good selection. And then over here we have some more Cattleyas that aren't in bloom, but like I said, a good selection of plants for the true orchid collectors. Now look at this, Brassavolva nodosa. This is a huge specimen plant of theirs. And it is amazing. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Now up here they have some more Denima polybulbin mounted specimens if you're looking for them. And over here are some of their fowls. Now check out this Phalaenopsis. This one I saw when I came in. Super cute. Phalaenopsis Sogovivian Smurf Special Indigo. Really cute flower. And here is a Fal Bastanii and some Spike. It'll be coming pretty soon. And they have a really, really nice selection of fowls. This guy, I think, is pretty crazy. Look at this. This is Fowl Flores Gold Cross Hieroglyphica. And it's got a bunch of buds on the way. Really nice. Look at this guy. Isn't that pretty? And now this guy here, this is the Val Christine Magro, and here's the flower. <clears throat> really cute flowers. And it is such a tiny little guy. Tiny little fowl. Really cute. Now, they do have some amazing, amazing specimens. Over here we have some Bulbophyllum Phalaenopsis, Dendrobium, Schilleriana Phalaenopsis, sorry. Um, yeah, Schilleriana fowls. And then look at this guy. That's Phalaenopsis Yang Yang Gigant Cherry. A little flower on such big leaves. And here they have some more Paphia Petalums. <clears throat> and Bud, when she saw this cross outside a little while ago. And they have these cute little guys here. Delinadia across the Armeniacum. Look at these cute little guys here. And they have a good selection of paths. If you're looking for Pathia petalums. Not much in bloom or bud as of right now. Epic. Epidendrum poor packs. I've seen these guys before. And then they have one of my favorites over here in bloom, which just seems just so late. Well, I love that bulb of them. Really, really pretty. And then this cute little guy.
going against this Luteo Alba Sigma. Super, super cute. And we're gonna go this way. See some more flowers over here. Like I said, they have lots in bloom. Lots of options. Some more of those Dendrobium Latagesii. Silver Charm. And they have some Psychopsis. Not in bloom at this time of the year. And these guys are in bud. Here's some more Delinatii. I know some folks really liked the Delinatiis. This is the regular Delinatii. And some of these guys have two buds, two flowers that'll come on the way. Really, really pretty. And of course, some larger Paphiopetalums, complex paths, and Rexillarias. This guy I love. This is the Romorlica Riggins. And this thing is literally always in bloom, I feel like. I don't think I've ever come in here in all the times that I've visited where this hasn't been in bloom. It's a really cute flower, but super huge growing plant. I mean, it, it is aggressive. It, blow, it grows like crazy. Um, some more paths. Um, this is a pretty unique Phalaenopsis. Fine speckling. Really, really pretty. So many different options to pick from. And this is their house where they have some of their cool growing and shade loving orchids. Corbella films. It also looks like they have some dendrochylums. Check out this guy. Maxillaria. And then, you know I love my Mazda Valleys. Check out the amount of flowers on this guy. Not for sale, but still beautiful. And this is Mazda Valley Pinot Noir. I do have some Mazda Valleys that are for sale. And of course, some more dendrobiums, and it's a little bit flooded because it's raining so much today. But look at the huge bulbophyllums that they have blooming over here. Let's see if I can get over this way. It doesn't look too, too bad over here. Uh, these are dendrochylum and zellii. Looks like some of them have bloomed out. I know my Wenzelii did recently. And then more Maxillarias. Over there. Bulbophyllum curriculatum. It's just a very pretty greenhouse space they have here. Now these little guys smell incredible. Cassandra and Neophonidia hybrid. This whole area smells amazing. Now you might hear some noise in the background. That is because it is pouring outside. <laughs> but couldn't pick a better day to be in a nursery. Let's see if I can get this guy. This is a Tulumnia. And it's a little bit hard with the the lighting right now. But so many beautiful 
flowers will highlight over there. Nice Catlia Walkeriana. Here's another. Ascacindra Neophonetia hybrid. And this flower smells amazing. I mean, like, I have not smelled a little flower that smells as strong as that. And they have a great selection of these little guys. If these are uh, something you like in your collection, you want to add, they have Vandophonetia. There we go. show you the the blooms and then this guy is gonna have quite a few blooms on the way they're just about to pop this is a true ascocentrum species and they are so cute now over here they have a selection of some compact and regular sized cat layers. Check out this cat layer. Wow. This guy is beautiful. Uh, here's the name. Catlianthi Varut Star Trek Golden Tiger. What a flower on that. That is just beautiful. And then they have some more cat layers that are not in bloom right now. And again, we'll come back and film other videos in different seasons to highlight these plants for you guys. Because like I said, there's always new orchids in bloom. And over here, look at that vanda. Stunning. And here's a little cat, a little hazel. This is where I purchased mine from. So if you're interested in that, they have a couple that are in bud right now. So if you're looking to add a little hazel to your collection, there's the name. They have them here and in bud and available. Now over here is where some of their bulbophyllums live. Here's their selection of bulbos. There's not too too much in bloom, but there is this guy. Check out the flowers on this. That is the flower. Very different. Bulbophyllum falcata. This particular one is mounted. And look at the blooms. You can kind of see the name there. So if you're looking for a mounted specimen, they offer those here too. And hidden throughout, they have some different types of bulbophyllums, like this guy here. Here's Bobophyllum sanguina punctatum. Bobophyllum fascinator. And then here's more of those. Just totally weird Bobophyllum flowers. Aren't those crazy? This is Bobophyllum maximum.
These guys are pretty big, but they almost look like snakes. They're really pretty though, very different. And I didn't want to miss this guy over here. Another stunning Vanda type. Working. Great selection of Elizabeth Ann Buckleberry. Very famous. Bulbophilo hybrid. I have it in my collection. And over here we also have some more Bulbophilo Ping Tungensi. Some Bulbophilo Frostii. More Falcatum in bloom. And then, of course, we have more mounted orchids up there that folks can take a peek at. All different types of flowers here. Here's Dendrobium. Fort Nobly. We have a great selection of Nobili Dendrobiums. Like, look at this one over here. Wow, covered in blooms. Some plants that are not in bloom right now. Here's more of those. And we saw in the first room, in bloom, cute little yellow flowers. We have Pinianum dendrobiums. In bloom this time of year. Of course, if you're looking for some species Phalaenopsis, they have some great offerings. So many different blooms. Check out the flowers on this. That's really pretty. This is a King Yanum, or King Wong Wow. Dendrobium, King Wong Wow. Really pretty flowers. Look at all these dendrobiums. But it's beautiful. That is beautiful, wow. I love the white on each Splashes. tip of the petal. Yeah, like the splash petaling with the pink, the purple. Very pretty. And of course, if you love the antelope type dendrobiums, um, these are a little bit different too. This is Dendrobium Hawaii Spectacular. They have tons of blooms. Wow. And over here, Really nice. Look at all the flowers on that. Stretches up right to the top of the greenhouse. And this is Epidendrum Paniculatum. You can have your selection of those. Lots of blooms. Gastropylus japonicus. Yeah. Interesting. Like I, I said, they have some that. really unique flowers that you don't see at a lot of different nurseries, especially in this area. So if you're looking for something weird, like me, 
which is when I collect weird stuff. <laughs> this place probably has it. Really, really nice. Here's those antelope dendrobiums that I so love. Dendrobium chocolate antlers. The Little Brook Orchid does attend and sell at various shows here in the Mid-Atlantic. So if you are attending SIPOS in the upcoming months, this is a great place to check out. They'll be there. Now this is a different plant, but the same name. Dendrobium nemoral, nemoral. And I don't think I've ever seen a dendrobium with these types of flowers. This is really pretty. And of course you saw this guy coming from this absolutely massive specimen. Come over this way. We have a couple more dendrobiums. Some more antler dendrobiums if you want to add those to your collection. And then over here, we have the dendrobium. Jinxii. And they are in bud. Look at this guy. How pretty is that? They're like little gold, like, I don't even know, silver dollar sized little flowers. That's going to conclude my tour of Little Brook Orchids here in March. I'm excited to do more tours here and show all the other blooms that they have throughout the year. So with that, thank you so much to Trey and the folks here at Little Brook Orchids uh, for letting me film this tour. I'm Brian from Orchids by Brian. Thank you everyone for watching and subscribing and liking, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.